everybody, at some point, we've all suffered from some sort of body issue, like bad breath, or maybe sweating profusely, or perhaps even a little bit of flatulence. Hey, <laughs> it's okay, it happens to the best of us, but I'm here to save you with some DIY remedies, and our very brave co-hosts are each standing in to represent an embarrassing body problem, and we've got some great remedies. Everybody ready to get started? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Bing. It's time to get on, it's here on the goods. All right, Steven, so what is your embarrassing body problem? Under these hot lights, I'm a sweater. I know, you got all those manly <laughs> muscles and you sweat a lot. No, I just, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a sweater, yeah. All right, well, there's actually a technical term for that. It's called hyperhidrosis, but I've got a great DIY remedy for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this one's very simple. You just need a teaspoon of lemon juice, right, like so. Pour that in there, all right? And does then it you... matter if it's fresh or this? It, it, no, it no, doesn't thing. matter. It doesn't matter if it's not fresh. And how then we pick your own pick. Right. I know. How, <laughs> how ripe are you, darling? Yeah, organic only. All right, please. see how it's causing a little frost? So we mix that together till it becomes a little bit of a paste. You see wow. there? Right? Okay, so once we've got that properly mixed, what we do is we take a little cotton swab and we Dab it in there, and wherever you're sweaty, sit, lift your arm for me, there right? Because let's be, this is a hot spot. Pop her in. We would rub it right here, right? Or if you're in your decollete, maybe you get a little sweaty there. Decolleté. Where else do you get sweaty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, the, a little in there. Right in there and yeah. underneath the undercarriage yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, we rub it in there. Yeah. Let it sit for about 30 minutes. All right, and then wash it off, and that should help you. Well, let it, oh, okay, let you just walk around just, like this. It's, <laughs> it's in your house. Shopping online in shopping your underpants online. with your whiskey. And you, and you just and wipe yeah. down, just 30 oh, minutes, and then okay. you wipe down, and then you're what good. What was the white stuff again? All right, this, this is baking soda. Oh, baking soda. Right? Soda. Now, the Not reason cool. why baking soda works and the lemon is the alkaline in the baking soda counteracts okay. with acidity in the lemon to help stop the sweat. That makes sense. So that's why it works. That totally makes sense. Okay, now I have another little remedy for you. Uh, you cut a lemon in half. I know, bear with me. I know you'll get the look on your face. Raise your arms again. Now, wherever you sweat, you just rub the lemon all uh, over the place. What? That's right? just sticky. Right? No, yeah. but, and then you would go to bed with this. Oh. And then you wake up in the morning and have a shower, and it stops the sweating. No. Yes. But, yeah, I probably yeah? listen. I, I know, it's a little bit out there, but trust me, trust me on this one. I oh. want to know why we didn't make Steven do this segment shirtless. So <laughs> Jess, trust me, I tried. I give the people yeah. what they want. I tried, I tried, I tried. All right, so my next uh, remedy, uh, DIY remedy, is with potatoes. This I don't get. Yeah, you slice a potato and then you rub it wherever you sweat a lot. So again, under the arms, behind your knees, wherever you, and it absorbs the sweat. Yeah, here, let me give you another one. Do you there ever you eat go. the food? Are you not eating it? Would, oh. I would not, oh. I would not eat this. Yes, I would you're, definitely you're, not you're, eat this. I'm Thanks, man. Make a nice soup after yeah. you're done. You know what, <laughs> Jess, give Jess one. Jess wants to stop sweating. In. Yeah, get her in. All right. No, I know, what every, I know what everybody's thinking. They're like, listen, Andrea, Orange, I do huh? not want to rub any produce all over my body. Give me something else. Well, I have an oral remedy that you might like instead. All right, so drinking tomato juice or wheatgrass is also really great and can help keep you dry. The reason for that is tomato juice has antioxidants and astringent properties that help shrink your pores. Wow. So you need to have this in okay. your diet daily. Well, was... You can't just have it once in a while. You gotta have it on a regular basis. So it has to like load into your body. It has to load into your body. Oh. It has to be become part of your daily diet. And wheatgrass, which you're drinking right now, is high in vitamins A, mm, B, C, and folic acid, which neutralizes and dilutes the toxins. That's wow. why it works. Oh, that's great. So bottoms up. You already drank Bot that one. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, damn, yeah damn so now, do you feel drier? Sure do. OK. Sure do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do. All right, so I'm next. done with my Here we go. Are you uh, making sweet potatoes? Thank you so much. There you go. You Add that to your next recipe? cooking oh. segment. Oh, oh, we've lost one. There One's gone go. rogue. Yeah, I appreciate right. that. Mm, so, Jesse, what is your embarrassing body problem, well, darling? future cast member of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> I am all, I drink a lot of coffee. Mm -hmm. I eat whatever Shahir feeds me. And yep. I always worry that I have bad breath. Yeah, no, listen, you're not alone. We've all had bad breath. Every single one of us yeah. in here has eaten something, something yep. garlicky. You're not alone. But there are many reasons why you can have bad breath. One of them could be tooth decay and gum disease, which is very serious and you should go and see your dentist. Okay. But if we're talking superficial, you just had a really stinky meal or mm -hmm. you just had some bad coffee, well, usually people chew gum, right? Everybody just chews gum. Yeah. But yeah. it's very yeah. superficial and it also has a lot of aspartame and sugar, which is not good for you and it just masks, it's temporary. Mm -hmm. You want something that's better and I got something better for you to chew on. Please. Fennel seeds. What? Oh. You heard me, honey, take a... Bottoms what? up, open uh, up, open up, open yeah. up. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There we go. Yep, so chew on that. Oh. So fennel seeds can actually help <laughs> neutralize odorous foods like garlic and curry, and it also helps with your digestion because it creates more saliva. How does it taste? <laughs> oh. uh, this is when I know 
that you're not an actual doctor. <laughs> Listen, I know, because I know a lot of people are like, I'm not walking around with fennel seeds in my pocket, Andrea. Give right. me something else. Right. Okay, well, I have another DIY that perhaps is a little easier to digest. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is a spray, a mouth spray. Okay. Now, most people use a lot of over-the-counter mouthwashes, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. contain a lot of alcohol. And the alcohol actually kills the good bacteria in your mouth. Now, the bad bacteria is actually underneath your gum line. Mm. So it's like the equivalent of taking a blowtorch to kill the weeds in your garden. Mm. It's, it sense. doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Okay. So I have a little so solution for you here. So you're going to take a very a spray bottle. You can get this at any dollar store. Okay. And we're going to take a, three drops of cinnamon oil. Right? Cinnamon oil. Yes. All right. You can get this at any health food store. Yeah. This one is going to come out. While you do that, I want you here, I want you to test my uh, post fennel breath. Yes. Ready? <sighs> you smell like an Italian sausage. <laughs> <laughs> what every woman wants to hear. And I like it. All right, so we, <laughs> we, pour the, we pour the water, we, and then we take the water. We have three drops of each, the cinnamon oil, and there we go. We need a little shake, shake, shake. Really, I can smell it that. Smells that smells really good. good. It's either that or your breath, but something it's, smells really good. Okay, here. spritz, spritz. All right. Now you can have this in your Ooh. purse. So you can have this. Right. Zesty. The pe yeah, peppermint oil and cinnamon oil with a little bit of water. That's all it takes, oh. folks. And you, you can have like, this at your desk. You can have it in like your Valentine's purse. Day. And of course, you're not walking around with a bunch cinnamon of fennel hearts. seeds in your pocket. So this is for you, darling. This is nice. really great. And you like it, right? It's very fresh. See? I mean, you did spray it all over my entire face. <laughs> Sorry, honey. But no, it's great. But it works. OK, yeah. good. All right, so next up, Shahir, what is yes. your problem, love? I have excessive dandruff, as you can see. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Look at me. Do we make it a little oh. too heavy? Like, whose dandruff no. is this bad? No, <laughs> you know, I can't go anywhere. OK, so you know what? Dandruff is, again, something that we've all suffered from. Yeah, let's get that all oh, out look. of your hair. That oh. is a lot. Oh, oh boy. All right, and in the winter months and fall, it gets drier, so you even get more dry skin. It's horrible. But I have a very easy DIY remedy that's going to help you out, right? Thank you. So what we're going to take is apple cider vinegar and water. You just raided my kitchen, huh? Yeah, we're, listen, these are easy. These are things that are in your house because you don't always want to spend a lot of money because sometimes you go to the the, uh, the store and these things are very expensive, these over the counter, and they don't always work. So we take a quarter cup of apple cider. Okay. Right? And then, actually, uh, you know what? I had that right there. Watch your nails. Oh, I know, my nails, <laughs> my nails are good, honey. All right? And then what we do is we shake that up, spritz that on. Why wouldn't I use like the special shampoo? Sometimes those things are very drying and they actually strip all the oil, the natural oils from your hair. So it's not very good for you to, you can, can I give you a little spritz? So this is actually better for you because the uh, apple cider vinegar, sorry doll. It's cold. Um, <laughs> balances the pH levels on your scalp so it's gonna. It's definitely cold. Is it cold? <laughs> no, right. but it's nice. So that one actually, you just leave that on for about 15 minutes okay. and then you wash it out with your shampoo and conditioner and Bob's your uncle, you're oh. good, right? Okay. Now if that doesn't work for you, I have another DIY. You take olive oil. As a chef, I know you have this in your house. I have all of this in my house. All of this. Okay, good. You don't even have to go to the store. can't use it for cooking anymore. All right, so this you would put in, on your scalp, right? Jesse, I'm going to get you to pour this shot glass full of olive oil. Yes. On, on my head? On his head. On his head. Well, if it's doctor's orders, then I have yeah. to yeah. do doctor's it. doctor's orders, darling. Ready? Can you wash okay, my ben... shirt? No. Right? There you go. Oh, that's you... also cold. <laughs> what you want to do is pour this onto your head and then massage it oh. so it can saturate your scalp oh. and moisturize. Oh. Are you guys being right? funny? Is this it's a joke? It's like a right? chicken marinade. <laughs> okay. Oh. And then what you do is you uh, put a shower cap on his head. Once you're finished, rub it in, work it in, girl. Look at all that dandruff just coming oh. out. Oh. Yeah. There we go. And then Good. we put a shower cap on there. Aren't you sexy ready for bed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that overnight. In the morning, you wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner, and then your dandruff is all gone. <laughs> you like all a right, salad. now it is time to tackle my embarrassing body problem. Yes. Oh, Gas, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey! We really need that. All right, well, first of all, <laughs> oh, you guys did me like that. Yeah, you guys true. are so wrong. <laughs> all right, so first of all, the things that you eat can make you very gassy. I have a lot of roughage in my diet because I try to eat healthy. And broccoli and cabbage and Brussels sprouts and beans, these things are very healthy for you, but they cause a lot of gas. Yeah. So if you're having issues with gas and you're eating this type of diet, you may want to temper it and pull back a little bit. But what you can get in your diet is more citrus, like oranges and lemons and yogurt. Uh, bananas are also really good, and so are grapes. So try to balance it out, and that
that may help. Okay. Another thing that okay. really works is ginger tea. Mm. I have ginger tea on me all the time because I need it. Sometimes <laughs> I do it before a meal. Sometimes I do it after. It settles my stomach and it kind of, you know, quiets down the, the storm that's going on in there. <laughs> all right, now another thing that people don't know that can kind of really help you with gas is mustard. Yes. Any I'm... kind of mustard. It doesn't need to be fancy mustard. Any kind of mustard, as long as it has turmeric in it. So make sure that you read the ingredients. Uh -huh. As long as it has turmeric, all you need is a teaspoon of, of yeah, uh, she here is gonna feed like, it to me, I'm nervous. <gasps> You're gonna oh, do this? Really? Right, yeah, oh, I'm gonna I have it right now. I sound effect, so I'm gonna right? give you two You know when you have that rumbling in your stomach where you can feel it, you're like, oh boy, what am I gonna do? Uh, maybe and maybe you don't have the tea. Okay, that's enough. Relax, Andrea, listen, you, you need really, this. You're, you're, <laughs> we're helping you. Oh! Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Now you need that, that oh, spray no. for your breath mm -hmm. and you're good to go. <laughs> oh, Ma'am, that is that is that is sharp. No, but that's healthy. <laughs> that's the turmeric. I don't think I've seen you make that face before. That's, that's the turmeric. Are you trying? My whole body's shutting down. Okay, so let's move on over here. <laughs> All right, so there's another method you can try to get out the gas. Now, this works before you go out, like 10 to 15 minutes before you go out. Yeah, everybody get on their yoga mats. Okay. Like before they go out for the evening? Like, before you go out for the evening, just to make sure you, like, before a, a date or an important okay. uh, job interview where you don't want to fart in that you situation. Want I, I want to see Jesse doing this in a tight skirt right? before she goes out. I want everybody to lie down on their back. <laughs> With your right? heels on. Everybody lie on your back, oh. okay? Like now, I want you to lift your butt and get into the bicycle. You know the bicycle? Oh, Ooh. man, my right? pants are wow. coming off. And all you gotta do is this exercise for 10 before to 15 minutes serious? before you go out, but and I'll... it gets rid of all the gas, so you'll be gas-free and you can party. Oh, I'd rather and fart. And you can talk to people, <laughs> and you'll be just fine. I'd rather be so farting. there you have it, folks. All your embarrassing body oh. issues. But see, now I'm sweating. So oh. I'd rather oh. be farting. Somebody get me a lemon. Somebody get hell? me a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you passionate about living your best life and having a clear mind and a healthy body? Or do you just want to find out what your date actually thinks about you? Subscribe and you'll get all the lifestyle and dating tips you need to live life.